Hey, I'm doing a dance called the Oso J Funk, and it's my new favorite dance to do. The new dance is spreading like crazy, thanks to four year old tuber named J Funk. If you think Oso J Funk is only for the kids, think again. The Oso J Funk is a simple dance with a catchy song that requires you to move your upper body in a fast movement and the rest is freestyle. Some people flip, some people put their hands in the air. Let's see what it makes you do. Introducing the Oh So J Funk Dance. Move your hands from side to side as fast as you can. Then freestyle, flip, jump, and more. Now go! Now that you see how to do the Oso J Funk, it's time for you to join on the fun. Try it now. Guess where we are? Starbucks. Charles Trippy, this is for you. Since you like to go to Starbucks every now and then, and to get some coffee or to get everything else. Hey, what up? What up? We's in Hollywood. The only crazy place where things happen, where things could happen at any time, anywhere. But, you know, right now we're just chilling here in Hog Isle Ave. Haven't you? <laughs> Try to look for some sort of stars. Stars. Oh, it's oh, actors. I want to. I want to ask. Yes, you ask. So anywho, we'll probably take some tours. Maybe sometime soon. Here and there. You got that stuff over there. And a parking lot over here. You gotta love Hollywood. Hollywood's like all the stuff and everything. So, other than that, we're wearing our outfits today, as you can tell. The whole thing. On the right hand side, the Saddle Ranch restaurant. This is owned by Dwight Yoakam, the country singer. So, if you do you guys like cotton candy? Yes. I know I do. They bring you cotton candy to your table, and I'm not kidding, it's bigger than Marge Simpson's hairdo. This giant cotton candy, and they'll put it right in the middle of your table. Then you can have a couple of cocktails if you'd like, brunch, lunch, or dinner. Jump on the mechanical bull that they have right through those curtains. And when you're finished with your meal, they're going to give you marshmallows. You can roast your marshmallows on the fire right here with Bill Clinton and Ronald Reagan. Right here at the Saddle Ranch restaurant. Dwight Yoakam, Saddle Ranch. Tell a few jokes. If you're discovered here, guess what, everybody? Your name is going on the outside of this building in white letters, just like all these other great comedians. Yep, I'll tell you also, this was known as Zero's back in the 1940s and the 50s. This is where Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin and the whole Rat Pack would hang out. Where you got from? Seattle! Seattle! I got Texas, Germany, Seattle. And we're, I forgot, we're both Germanys, right? 
Yeah. 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 No, Norway is the LA area, right? Uh, where were you? LA? Okay. <laughs> so this is owned by Pauly Shore? This is owned by Pauly Shore nowadays. Alright you guys, so we're going to take off. I want you to take a look across the street. Dan Aykroyd's House of Blues over there. That House of Blues was an old Kentucky barn. They disassembled that barn and brought it here to LA and they put it back together. Graffiti. Richie and his friends would come for chocolate malts and hamburgers. And the Fonz, remember? Hey, he would come and pick up on his girlfriends. So this is where they filmed Happy Days? Happy Days, yes. Mel's 1950s drive-in diner. Wow. And we're going to head down into the Sunset Plaza now. This is two blocks of beautiful dining. All right, let's head down to the Sunset Strip. On Thursdays, this parking lot transforms itself into a little farmer's market, which is always fun right here on the Sunset Boulevard. And the coffee bean and tea leaf coming up on the right. When Britney's in town, this is one of her favorite places to hang out. Britney Spears? Britney Spears. But she's in Las Vegas right now on tour. We're gonna head down to the Sunset Strip. We're gonna start off with a whiskey a go-go. A whiskey a go-go? Whiskey a go-go. This building, we're gonna see it in just a few minutes. I'll tell you, the whiskey was built in 1964. This is the same whiskey where the doors would come out of the Laurel Canyon, or yes, Laurel Canyon, come down here and play their music. They were a big cover band for many years. Other people that have gotten their starts here would be Frank Zappa, ACDC, Guns N' Roses, and you can only imagine all the other bands that have been up on the stage at the Whiskey A Go Go to get their big starts. Goldie Hawn got her start down here also. She was Go Go Goldie, one of the first Go Go dancers. She'd get in the cage at the whiskey and go up to the ceiling and boogie down. From here, she went on to Laughing. After Laughing is when she started her whole movie career. The whiskey's going to be coming up here on Clark Street, which is the second light by the bus, in just a moment on the right-hand side. I'll tell you also, I remember in the 80s when I used to come down here, they used to have pay phones, if anybody remembers those, lined all the way up Clark Street on the right-hand side. This is the whiskey a go-go, everybody. Okay, I'll pull over right up here if you'd like to take a picture of the plaque real quick. Give some history about the whiskey. There it is. Well, let me tell you, Holly Berry, Catwoman, she took her car right through those front doors one night, all the way up into the store. You know what she got for that, don't you? A DUI. She sure did. But I'll tell you, she made that liquor store pretty darn famous. And after that little incident, they put up free delivery. <laughs> wow. Yep. We're going to stop by Holly Berry's here in just a few minutes. Is everyone ready for Beverly Hills? Yeah! yeah Beverly Hills. Yeah. And then you see all that traffic. Hopefully by the time we finish with Beverly Hills, it'll be done too. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be stuck. Catwoman, Storm from the X-Men. Of course, Wolverine's one of my TV boyfriends. <laughs> There's a car there too. It looks she might be home. You never know. All right, down the hill we go. We're gonna stop by the Beverly Hills Shield next. This shield, I'm sure you've seen it in movies, like I know for sure, like Beverly Hills Cop. Anyway, they charge the uh, studio seventy-five hundred dollars to have this shield in the movie with them. We're gonna take these pictures for free today, or maybe half price. No, it's only for free. And the fire hydrants also, I have to show you, I get a kick out of them. Here in Beverly Hills, the only place in the world you're going to see platinum fire hydrants. Yes, and the Beverly Hills Shield is up here on the right-hand side. Okay. Platinum fire hydrants. I know, I love it. Yeah. The peach-colored house. I'll also take us right up to the front gates where the camera crews used to follow Ozzy through those gates and up to the house. Anybody recognize it from that TV show? So what show is You're it? You're just like Christina Aguilera, the Meet the Osbournes. Remember? Sharon! Sharon! <laughs> and let me take you up to the two front gates here real quick. Is it where the camera crews would follow Ozzy through those gates? The front doors are the same as they've always been. They have the two big crosses on the front. Now it belongs to Christina. I'm yeah. going to stop at Simon Cowell's house next. You know Simon Cowell, the guy you either like him or you don't, from American Idol and The X Factor. Here's his home on the right. 
Simon Cowell once again. So this is Simon Cowell's house? Yes. Wow. And we're going to stop at another house, which is one of my favorites on the whole tour. That's in line right here on the right-hand side. This was Frank Sinatra's first home purchased in Beverly Hills. Here you now go, Mask Great Singer. grandkids own this place. And let me tell you about this place real quick. So it's a single-story rambler, right? You can see by the tree lines in the backyard of how deep the piece of property is. The green gates will open up, and you can pull the vehicles right up into the property. Very private piece of property. Oh, Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. There you go. Right these trees is the home of Tom Cruise. You'll see it's a very modern style mansion that's back there. This whole piece of property all the way down the block belongs to him. Wow. As I said, it's becoming more difficult to see. I'll pull over by the gates if you'd like. But this is <laughs> just like crazy, huh? And he only has a few trash cans. Here are the gates to the right. The home of Tom Cruise, everybody. Can we take a picture, please? Any way to ring his bell to have him come out? I know, really.